Hey y'all! Welcome to episode 6 of You Don't Know Who I Am. My name is Anne Marie and this is my daily vlog uh, that I am sharing with you each day to just document what I'm doing until um, launching my branding and marketing program. So uh, I last night figured out how to build all of the buttons, all the buttons I need for my website uh, for people to sign up for my emailing list and to get free uh, downloads to help them uh, immediately start their uh, branding and marketing journeys to like supercharge what they're already doing by giving them some really cool advice. So um, the buttons are set up. Website is done, which I'm really excited about, but I need to make sure that all the back end stuff with like my email campaigns and the document download links that I'm embedding in those emails that I'm going to be sending to people when they click that button and sign up. I need to make sure all that stuff is squared away. So documents are hosted on Amazon um, and I'm using MailChimp. So I just need to make sure that they're all playing nicely together so that I, um, you know, when people visit and they sign up for that stuff, they actually get it. So uh, my new domain is connected that I bought through HostGator, uh, which is awesome towards the end of last week struggle busing to make that happen um and then my old domain that i set up while i was in china um when i was using wix um i am connecting that right now to my website i don't know why it's taking so long i started transferring it while i was in the middle of getting my new domain uh through hostgator and i'm basically just trying to point what i was doing with wix to my Squarespace website now. Um, and it still hasn't completely connected. It's still like in the process. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this transfer is taking so long. Um, but if people, yeah, I want if people are looking for me, if they remember me from my old domain, that they will see my new website. Um, tax forms for California are going to be happening today. Uh, we just want to get that beast out of the way. Um, this list is probably going to be more of like my list for the week. Uh, cause I'm not gonna be able to get all this done in one day. I know that I'm trying to be more realistic with myself. So, um, I, and then my bank of America shopping cart information need to fill all that out. They have like online paperwork I need to do then. Okay. For webinars and for actually recording this course. So I have everything written out and it's what I've been um, walking my clients through for the past like five years. Uh, so like I know everything. Um, so I don't have to create the course like thank goodness because that takes a long time um, to do it right and to like, you know, deliver something amazing or okay, well, what I think is really helpful. Uh, it takes a lot of time. You can't just like pull it out of thin air. So um, there's two things that I am looking into right now is my screen capture. So this is software that records what both like what I'm saying and then um, over like what is being shared on my screen. And that's going to be the course is me flipping through um, uh, presentations that I've made in InDesign. Um, which there's a lot of other easy ways to do that. You can use like uh, Google like slides or PowerPoint or whatever. But I, like I said before, I'm really particular about the way things look and I want to be consistent with my branding and everything I made for my branding as far as all of the free documents that I was talking about, the freebies, the cheat sheets, um, and then like the course documents uh, that like that help you that guide you through the course so I give you like free PDFs to like fill out and to make sure that you're on track and everything all of that was made in InDesign because InDesign is really good for um, uh, they it's for document making so as a result to stay in theme to stay in brand I'm making all of my slides in InDesign and I know for some of you you're probably thinking oh my god Emery why are you doing that but I don't you know, it has special fonts, it has special colors, it has special like graphics. It's like, it's what I want. Um, so I've made that more difficult for myself, but it's important to me that things look good and consistent with my branding. So is what it is. Um, so I need to use screen capture software to basically record all of the modules and all of the presentations um, that is 
what will be the course. There's four modules. There's um, starting with evaluating where you are and where you want to be, just being super conscious of your business and your capabilities so that you don't bite off more than you can chew. Um, second is zeroing in on your target audience. So uh, that's um, a, a lot of people are, or a lot of entrepreneurs just say, oh, I just want to sell to everybody. I just want to sell to whoever I can sell to. And um, anybody in advertising knows that that is like death to your company because there's no way you can please everybody. So it's a lot more powerful to be super zeroed in on who your target audience is um, and just making sure you resonate with those people that you know, you're know you at the right place at the right time for those people. So um, that's module two is target audience. Module three is uh, branding, uh, your branding strategy. And this is basically like, uh, so branding is going to be the look and feel of your company, um, but also brand messaging, so your brand voice. And that is like, what are you going to say that's going to resonate with your target audience to get them uh, to call them to action, which is, you know, to buy or to do what, what you want them to do, make more follows or more engagement or whatever. Um, so that's module three is branding. And then module four is your marketing strategy. And that's basically being at the right place at the right time on media whether that's online or offline and really it doesn't matter you know people say oh like you know print is like dying and to an extent that is true but if your entire audience is reading print you need to be in print so like it's just making sure that you are getting the most out of your media investment by efficiently using media. And that's just being where your target audience is instead of trying to spread yourself thin and kind of like trial and error, um, just like trying to figure out what happens to see what works. So uh, those are the four modules. That's what I'm going to be recording. That's going to be the course. So um, I am uh, looking at the screen capture software. So for Mac, it's ScreenFlow, and for PC, it's Camtasia. Um, I'm, I have a Mac, so I'm going to be using um, ScreenFlow to record everything. And then I need to figure out where I'm going to be hosting this course. There are a lot of websites out there trying to get people to put their courses online um, or on their website. Um, so the teachers... It's like any other service, you pay them and then you use their platform to sell this course. So there are, um, there are websites like that. Um, in a way, those are good because they already have traffic coming to them. So, you know, if somebody doesn't really know what course they want, but they're looking for branding and marketing and I'm like, I'm on Udemy or something, um, I can get like free well, not really free traffic, but easier traffic. Um, but then you can like, you could also do the same thing with ClickFunnels. I don't know if you've heard of ClickFunnels or like lead pages, but these are also, these are websites that basically you build completely yourself. You put everything on yourself, um, but you are responsible for getting traffic to your, to your own website, to those um, platforms. So um, I don't really, I don't, at the moment, I don't know that's, going to be further down the line of me trying to figure out uh, what I'm going to be using. Um, and then, But I definitely don't want to host it on my own website right now. The website I just made is basically for people to go and just learn more about me and to, um, to get more people on my emailing list and to give like free awesome stuff. Like that's what I want my website to be. I don't want it to be geared towards selling things just yet. I don't know. That may change in the future. Um, then uh, webinar software. Okay, so ScreenFlow um, or like screen capturing software is for to record things that you can share or sell later that people can access at any time. Webinars is about having like a live event where you can either charge people to attend um, a lot of makeup artists will do this. They'll say, hey, for 50 bucks, you can attend this webinar. I'm going to show you how to do this look or whatever. There's So you can charge for attendance or you can sell something through that webinar. So you could like, um, let's say, you're, again, you're a, a, a makeup artist and you have your own products that you want to both demonstrate because it's a webinar and you can either, you know, show 
yourself um, or show your screen um, and kind of like demonstrate a, a product. And then through that webinar, um, not all webinar softwares have this, but a lot do is um, like marketing materials and um, kind of like uh, options to where you can like put a lead people to a page uh, where they can buy whatever you're demonstrating um, or like buttons or whatever um, forms. It's, it's really great. And so uh, I'm going to be looking for that because um, along with my freebies, I also want to hold free webinars and like kind of like periodically so that I am more engaged with my audience um, to just give them some cool stuff. Um, say, hey, this live event is happening next week, you know, tune in and learn some awesome stuff. So um, I am right now looking at Webinar Jam. There are oh, tons of webinar softwares out there. And I am, again, I'm a person that like, I feel like I need to know all my options and it cripples my ability to make decisions. And so um, I, in this case, I really trusted, um, I, I read a lot of uh, blogs and I've, and I've kind of skimmed all the websites and right now Webinar Jam looks like it's going to be the best for me. Um, they also right now have a $1 um, 60 day trial, which is great because then like most of these are around $45 a month. They range from like 30 to $45 a month and up. And, but that's like, if you pay all at once and it's like, well, I don't want to commit to paying a full year of like 40 bucks a month just for it to suck, <laughs> you know? So it's like, I, I like the free trial thing because there have been many times and through this whole journey because there's like so many options to do everything that like I use the free trial and quickly realize well it's just not for me or I'm not there yet or this doesn't have what I want and so that's another reason why I'm choosing Webinar Jam. Um, I've also been on, a, I've attended a webinar uh, that was hosted on Webinar Jam and the graphics and everything um, it's really beautifully, in my mind, it's a beautiful um, software. Like, it just visually looks really nice, clean, simple, professional. And I really like that. Because I've also attended some webinars that just looked really janky. And I, again, paranoid about the way things look. I want it to look amazing. So, for now, it's going to be Webinar Jam. Um, and... Yeah, that's it so far. Um, both of my interviews yesterday got, uh, uh, for my podcast, got rescheduled to this evening. So again, I'm doing that Shanghai interview and the Tokyo interview um, and just giving it to Fiverr and just having them do it because I just like am not, can't do it. Can't do it right now. I'm not going to do it. So um, yeah, that's it for now. That's Monday. That's actually really more this week. I think today it's going to be more about taxes um, and like banking um, uh, paperwork and stuff. So, and then just figuring out, yeah, screen capture to record my um, my course, and then figuring out where to host it, and then um, starting with Webinar Jam um, and figuring out how I'm going to harness that and use that because then I need to figure out uh, getting traffic to it. So how do I promote it um, and, and get people interested? So, which I'm going to be, I'm thinking about using social media. I think I'm going to use like Facebook and Instagram for that, but we'll see. Uh, that's it for today. Hope you have a great day. This was a little bit longer, but it's more of like an overview for the week. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.